Yo, I whiffed it on Hot Tip Tuesday this week, so this video is coming out a little bit later, but you know, such is life, right? Like there's a lot going on. Um, on Tuesday, like one of the re main reasons I didn't get behind this camera was because uh, Alex Perry joined us in the Guild of Professional Sharpeners to talk about photography and branding and marketing uh, th through, <laughs> through the lens of photography. Um, and that was that was really awesome for the um, uh, for the people that that took it in the way I did. Um, like it's a lot of stuff like I knew, but I wasn't putting it into practice. And I would recommend it, but I like I wasn't I wasn't doing. I'm still not doing it. Uh, so um, it was it was really awesome. Special thanks to Alex Perry for for joining us for that. And one thing I'm kind of left with is like a lot of people who don't really understand the Guild of Professional Sharpeners think of it as a forum. Um, and in a way, like there is a forum, right? Like there's open exchange going on all the time, but that's not it, right? And like that's, uh, I think like this is one example of several that set the guild apart from a forum and that like we have group calls and we talk about things like branding and marketing and, and photography and how we can use that in our business. And I'm not wicked active on the knife forums, uh, so you can correct me if I'm wrong on this, but I I don't see I haven't seen that going on on the forums. So uh, that's just another plug for the Guild of Professional Sharpeners and what sets it apart from anything else that is available anywhere in the world. And you can learn more about that at theguildofsharpeners.org. Reminder: It's uh, this is the last week of April that I'm doing videos on these uh, knife grinding attachments. Um, and I'm gonna be giving one away really soon. So as the month winds down, if you'd like to get entered in the drawing to win that, you have to become a member of the guild in April of 2022. Best of luck to everybody who joins. Okay, here's what I wanna share with you this week. Um, really just, I, there's one thing that doesn't get a lot of attention on, on these attachments and it's the, the like we, we always talk about this side uh, there's not a lot of talk about this side, so I, I just want to take a moment to explain what's here and then uh, just mention one other thing that um, I don't think is available except through uh, me at the, well, maybe it is, but we'll talk about it. Let's see. You know, this is the orientation we don't often see this tool mounted in and what's going on here, I just wanted to call attention to one, this, if you... If, um, if you're considering purchasing this tool, you might not be aware that there are little notches built into the tool on both sides so that you can secure it to your, your workbench. And uh, for when they're in this other orientation, I haven't needed it because we're pressing down on the tool. Uh, in this orientation, what I wanted to call attention to is that we have this flat um, or this vertical belt going on and then a platen back there which you can push against. So in this case you may want to consider securing it to your bench because you can then push against here and there is a, a flat uh, platen uh, back there that you can press about. The, the platen goes a whole length, there's not really any slack belt action going on um, but there is a little little work surface here. I when, when I do work like this I do it on my 1 by 30 that's why I, I, I I just want to make sure you know it's available. But the point is here, like you can you can do this work uh, on this tool, uh, you know. So this is a really cool tool to get started with. The other thing I wanted to call attention to is that there is a little bit of play in the belt there. There is a little bit of play in the belt, right? So if you were, if that concerned you, like on the one by thirty, you can adjust the platen to get what you want, but. Uh, there are. I have this platen backer that uh, you could put in there, and I and then the, you know it takes up that space. I ha I use these platen. This platen. I put this backer on uh, my one by thirty. What's going on here is uh, <clears throat> when I was grinding on the one by thirty right up against the metal, it would chatter a lot. So I wanted to come up with a way that would reduce the chatter, but still give me a nice firm surface to press up against. So what I end up doing is I have a glass backed on, um, uh, and I think, yeah, on the one on my one by 30, it's, it's leather, I think, but I found another material that I, that I have uh, here that, and then it's an adhesive here, so you can peel that backing off, stick it on, sorry if I'm doing that off camera, let me zoom out a little bit. 
anyway, you can, this backing peels off, it's an adhesive there, so you can peel the backing off and, you know, take the belt off, but then push that on there. Uh, and then you have like, it's like sort of, um, not, not bouncy, it just kind of doesn't chatter, right? Uh, <clears throat> and it, it's nice, it's still nice and hard, but it doesn't chatter. I went through a bunch of iterations on this. I was making them and then I just, you know, like I do, I get, I get called off it on the other things. And, uh, but if this is something that interests you, you can reach out to me and, um, you can inspire me to build some more. I think I have all the materials. I just need to make the time. But anyway, that could be another, that could be something you, you might want to do is slip that back there. Now you have a nice, uh, it doesn't give as much and a nice little platen backer. I, again, I, ha I don't use this feature a lot, so I don't know how the chatter is off of this piece, but I assume that it's better than the metal one. This is a, a plastic. Uh, I assume that it's better than the straight up metal ones on the 1x30s. All right, I think that's it. Okay, I hope you got something out of that. I hope you've enjoyed this whole month-long series of videos that I've done on the WorkSharp Elite Sharpening System or the Ken Onion Knife Grinding Attachment. Um, and uh, so next week, or next month, next week and next month, we will be doing another series of videos with tips on another tool. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and check back in uh, when I put up new videos. And again, to get entered in the drawing to win one of these, you can do that by joining the Guild of Professional Sharpeners, and you can learn more about that at guildofsharpeners.org. Thanks so much. See you later.